Hi, I'm Casey Gray. I cost seven mana to play, and this is D&D Expertise, Episode 17. Magic the Gathering is a great source of inspiration for your campaign, and today I'm here to point you at five concepts you can take to spice up your story. First off, we have the Nizumi of Kamigawa. They're rat ninjas who rob graves, slit throats, and, as of Neon Dynasty, they can ride motorcycles. Many of them have the ninjutsu ability that essentially lets a punishing assassin appear out of nowhere as they instantly trade places with an unblocked ally. The Nizumi are a great alternative to more common takes on rat folk like the Skaven, doing sweet ninja flips and communing with the local spirits. Use them as spies for the party's enemies, or let the group hire them as mercenaries. In the fourth spot, we have Planeswalkers, individuals who can fuck right off to another world at will, offering you NPCs or even a party that can explore wildly different settings and cultures across the multiverse. This lets these characters experience more diversity than they'd ever find on a single plane, gain powerful equipment, and constantly show up wherever the plot is happening. If you want an example of a planeswalker that would make for a great NPC, then take a look at our third choice, Chandra the Firebrand. She grew up as an illegal pyromancer, can summon phoenixes, has hair that lights on fire when she powers up, and is a pansexual hot mess according to the wiki. That one book that says she's only interested in decidedly male men can fuck off. That's not canon because I said so. Her impulsivity and desire to do good can mix with her disrespect of authority to create a character that the party might find themselves fighting alongside or facing off against, but in either case they can still respect her motives and understand why she's making the choices she does. Strixhaven School of Mages at number 2 is a cheat because D&D has already published a full-on book for the setting. You can find my thoughts on A Curriculum of Chaos all the way back in D&D Expertise Episode 4. Not only is it a great place to set a game on its own, it also shows that bringing in ideas from your card game to your dice game can have some great results. I touched some weird oil earlier, but that's probably nothing to worry about. On an unrelated note, one of the absolute coolest things in magic are the Phyrexians. Viral, mutagenic, poisonous. They are living weapons that seek perfection of flesh and machine. They can corrupt beloved allies, turning them into grotesque adversaries that the party must face while avoiding the corruption themselves. They infect and proliferate, having already consumed the world of Mirrodin and transformed it into new Phyrexia. There's even a fully developed real Phyrexian language that real world players are still working to decipher, and so much good art that you can show players to let them know exactly what kind of horror they're up against. 